And it's been a couple days since uh, since you've since the last episode, or at least for you, for me, like no time's gone by at all. It's literally like we never left your face. Well, I mean, no time is no time has gone by for me, but for literally. the viewers, a couple days have gone by, maybe even more. It's, it's like um, time travel. Um, that's true. The following numbers. Just, uh, for one. Oh. Yeah, I'm aware of it. Okay. I haven't like, really been doing much. Oh, I remember. What the? What is that? I don't know. I don't know where you are. Oh, fine. I'm in the ravine. And we're splitting diamonds 60-40, right? Yeah, pretty much. And if I can, if we can, if we can find ten diamonds, I can. Skeletons, get off my. If we can find ten diamonds, I get four of them. Yeah. Did you stop recording? No. Yes. I started a new one. Yeah. Uh. Well, can't you like edit it so then you can just have it all go and then you can have, like do editing stuff? I don't want to. Over it. I get it. I'm incredibly lazy. Enough. I'm almost as lazy as Deadly. <laughs> hey now. Don't go putting yourself down like that. <laughs> That's a terrible thing Deadly's to say. Deadly's not lazy. He just prioritizes. Sheep on top. Well, n no. Deadly. When he, uh, oh. oh, I thought you said Milby. No, oh, Deadly's just Deadly. incredibly lazy. Do you know oh, how much man. work? Do you know how much work he puts into uh, the certain the um anything? <laughs> anything? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so that's why. Okay, so hey, that, put a lot okay, of work so that's it. why your wife has two husbands. Yeah, one does the work. That is not. It. That is not the case. Well, kind of. But um. Oh, so <laughs> as a follow up. As a follow-up to um, what you do last for... episode, no, the last episode that you did, where people were questioning smartness, and I was taking an IQ test. Yeah, have I you finished, finished that IQ test? It's, it's been like five test. days. Yeah, it took five days for me to take, but I have an IQ of a hundred and sixty-four. It took you five. Paper explosion. Yeah, I was right here. It took him five paper explosions. It took me five, 164 according to this IQtest.com thing. Well, I guess... IQtest.com. Uh, what, what, what would it be? like? What's the mens... Like, what's the giving thing evidence the to people who have a hard-on for Ayn Rand since its inception. <laughs> what's, wasn't, isn't there like a thing like you have to be so smart in order to get into Mensa? It's like 200 or some shit. I don't even remember. And you have to take like a legit test. I saw a person. Okay, okay. I saw a person from Mensa on Wipeout, so I don't think I'm gonna respect Mensa yet. Uh, they haven't done anything for me, except fun. provide funny entertainment on Wipeout. <laughs> I think Wipeout is um kind of sad actually. Yeah. Because yeah. they're trying so hard to be Ninja Warrior, and they're just not. I don't think they're really trying too hard to be Ninja Warrior. No, they're not. Like, Ninja Warrior is more serious than Wipeout. Yeah, Wipeout they 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 tried to commercialize it, guitar. and it's just sad, really. Ninja Warrior has a lot of hot buff Asians on it. That's why I like yeah. it. And and everybody's name is wrong. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I just took another one. Mhm. Mm that was less. Like math questions and more like weird practical questions, mm -hmm. and I got 214. So my <laughs> score ranges from I'm a genius to I'm better than average. <laughs> you know, this seems like a good time to mention that the higher your IQ gets, the greater the chance that you're socially awkward. <laughs> you don't seem too socially awkward, just too awkward. Uh, oh, okay. you have no idea how socially awkward I actually am. 
I think. I don't I think, like you too, awkward baby. I think Koala can. Whoa! I found another exit. That I am an exit in the taiga. Socially awkward. I'm not sure if socially is the right word. I think just awkward. <laughs> That'd yeah. be my case. Considering that most of the people that know me have seen me completely bare ass naked, yeah, I, I guess that's pretty awkward. I can safely say that I'm not one of them. For, uh, yeah, which is weird. Is, that, is your avatar for Skype you bare ass naked? Because then I would count. Um. Well, yeah. But yeah, but you not, can't see. You can't see. Oh, I can't bits. see any dangly bits. Yeah. So it doesn't count. Disappointing. Unless you see something swinging, it's it's not gonna. It's not oh, gonna. it doesn't count. If it's, if, 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 it don't mean anything if it ain't got that swing. It don't mean yeah. anything if it ain't got that swing. Yeah. That was kind of awesome. Not gonna lie. Which I is had... weird because I don't think it's awesome, but like half the people I like do that around are like, "That was pretty awesome." And I'm like, "No, no I just." The fact that somebody else actually knows that tune. That oh yeah, my that. musical interests. Okay. My musical interests are um, dubstep and thirty swing music. So, you, are you a fan of electro swing then? Oh yeah, I went to a um, Caravan Palace concert live. Nice, dude. I've it been listening to them sweet. for the past uh, couple months. They're uh, they're really good. They, they, Every single one is a polyglot, except with the possible exception of the singer, and she's just crazy talented in her own way. That's pretty sweet. Fuck, like, now I have when they do the up. scat bit, I just one shotted uh, into a spider. That was pretty amazing. Like, like my sword. violinist slash keyboardist slash guitarist slash yeah. so and so else. I, I don't think there was anybody in the show who played less than three instruments. That's ridiculous. Oh, I see what you're trying to do, you fucker. Except the singer. Die, you witch. The the lady. Ah. And she's just good. She's just good. Yeah, it's her. like, no, nah, you're 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 fine. You can you can just be you can keep on being good, lady. <laughs> they were pretty Yourself. funny too. Oh yeah. And um, mm. yeah, like when he's when he was doing the scat part in Susie. Yeah. Um, she uh took a, took out a kerchief and started wave um fanning him with it. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. I found Ravine, guys. A new oh, one? Shit. Besides the one that we already... The... No, there's a lot of stuff in here. We should, uh, we should put a link to uh, Caravan Palace uh, in, in this video. But you should. Um, yeah, uh, because you you uh, you do so much for the channel. No, I mean, you should in your video, because I'm not recording. I don't do anything for the channel. Either. No, you just record. Yeah, I told you that. That's why we still record. Because that's all you do. I work. I mean, okay, okay. Just, just let's Go take a poll here. Raise your hand, or raise your digital hand if you work more than fifty hours every week. Not raising my hand. Okay. It's a good. So, it's but, a good thing that the viewers can see uh, raised digital hands. So many zombies. Now, zombies. now raise your hand if you work more than 60 hours per week. Okay. So many zombies. More crickets. Zombies. Okay. So that's how often I work. <laughs> no, it's lagging. Oh, fuck. Oh, crap. In fact, oh, crap. Oh, crap. This, this week was oh, my crap. first under, under 50 hour week for. Whoa! Whoa. That guy is. Did you die? No. No, not yet. Oh, so I went to Total Wine today. Um, we went into Raleigh because uh, um, I Raleigh. we can't get any decent beer. Yeah, I live in North Carolina. Well, um, wait. What about the one down the down the street? There's not a Total oh, Wine. Down the oh, that explains the whole like non-straightforward sexuality here in North Carolina. The South is crazy about the stories I've heard from the friend of The mine. South is crazy about a, a variety of things, sexuality it, not necessarily included. It, it's, it, <laughs> it's funny because I am actually from Minnesota, so you can't blame that on the South. What? No. Well, is your wife from Minnesota? Yes. From well, technically, from she's... What? She's from Illinois, but technically she's... She the South, lived quite right? a... She's been in <laughs> South of Iowa, right? That's the South. Hey, man. Like, there was this one time my dad was talking to a, his friend of his from Canada, and he's like, you should come up here. 
Yeah. Like so my dad talking to a guy from Canada. We're so used to being farther north than everyone else. We're farther north than Canada, though. We have Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't help, you just kind of like hope you don't die when you go there. What, Canada or Alaska? Or Alaska. Wait, well, Canada, depending. On you hope that you don't right. die when you go there? Are you talking about Australia? That's, I was going to say, that's Australia. Not Alaska is America's Australia. No, it's not. Everything Actually, there will kill you, but not everything there is poisonous. Uh, everything in the state that I live in is poisonous. It's the most poisonous state in the uh, Northern Hemisphere. Yeah, look at all the religion. No, 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 I mean literally. For, <laughs> oh. Like, not joking. <laughs> it, it has the most poisonous creatures um, in the entire Northern Hemisphere. Don't you have, like, Are we including or excluding like people? Giant ass grasshoppers? Also giant ass grasshoppers. Yeah. Are, are, are we including or excluding ass grasshoppers? Yeah. You're putting they'll hop on your ass. 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 Yeah. Like, they'll make you turn your ass to grass, and then they'll hop on it. Yep. Grass ass grass is grass. And, and, and then cave hoppers, wasn't it that their only mode of self-defense was to hop at you? Um, pretty much, I think. Yeah. And they're as big as your hands. It is pretty intimidating, yeah. to be fair. I'm, I'm more familiar with, like, like the uh, brown recluse or the... Uh, oh, that shit. You know. The nine it's different the snakes that can instantly kill you. Hmm, you know, I'm lost. Oh, you were bitten? You better have anti-venom, like, right now. No, in no, your pocket. oh, you were bitten? Good luck. It's not yeah. even an anti-venom thing. It was, you were bitten. Oh. Have fun with that. I hope you don't die. It's like, no joke. And that's the doctor telling you that shit. Yeah, it's like, I, I really I really hope you get better, man. Good, good like, luck I'm going to do everything I can because I took that oath. Well, well it, it is the South. Problem. Well, it is the Hippocratic oath. The Why do you run What? I took the Hippocratic oath. Does that count? <laughs> I bet well, no one's ever thought of that before. That joke. I I did. No one. No one no ever. One. I bet no one has I, ever I, 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 thought I of that before. Can't. People gave up. That that those two words sound similar. Can't craft. No right. Mind blowing that I've God. never heard anything. What the. How did I end up back here? No, you're almost as snarky as uh um as koala. Who Max? Almost. I don't know it's what like you're so talking snarky. about. <laughs> almost as snarky. Almost. I don't even know what you're talking about. Hey, guess who has clay? This guy. Clay Aiken? No. Well, no, he's tied up in the bed. No, I, I left him in the closet this time. I gave him a food bowl this this one this round around so. You only feed him once a day, right? Because you don't want to feed him too much, or he'll get fat. No, like if I feed him too much, then he tends on like pooping on stuff, and that's just gross. Mm, yeah. But if you don't feed him enough, he just starts picking through his own fur. You know, Where'd you go? Know? What? Who me? Yeah, you. I I'm in a ravine somewhere. Like I'd have to uh, find he found the fun the fun ravine. What? Remember the one that I got lost in? That's the one he found. Not necessarily. I, I bet you anything that's the one. Uh, right now my, like coordinates, my coordinates are my coordinates right now are three forty seven twenty five negative one one seven. Oh, it's a different ravine. Called it. Well, it might just be the long part of it, but I don't know. Actually, I'm not in a ravine, but I am, like, uh, next hmm. to one. I'm in a really cool dome area with a creeper just running at me like a douche. Creepers do douche at you. Yeah, the ex explosive douche. Uh. Alright, so I have a question. It's a beer-related no. question. I might have an answer. Yeah, exactly. It's a beer-related answer. <laughs> it's a beer-related answer. <laughs> If it's if it's beer related, then I might actually be able to talk to you. I have a you. beer influenced answer for you. No, that's 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 all of my questions. <laughs> what was the question? Come on. Oh, it yeah. out. So, all right. Jesus. I like I said that I went to Total Wine, and we uh um, and we Bought all got. Beer oh, well, so we got. Suck. Uh, Are you done? Yes. Is he done? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, went to Total Wine and got uh, Haley uh, in, in Vader Boo. We got her two cases, not 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 six packs, two cases of six pack of the uh, uh, Woodchuck 
fall edition because they're not making it anymore. So she wanted some. And she's like, they're not making it anymore? Buy me cases. So we bought her two cases of that. And then um, I got some Sweetwater Blue, which is amazing. Right, you said stuff about that before. Um, and then I had the assistant manager of the store, because we were buying cases of, you know, beer, show me around and was like, hey, you know, you sh if you like X beer or this beer, you know, you should try this one and this one. So I have a brand new um, milk stout that I haven't tried ever that's apparently supposed to be What's rather sweet. Um, I hold on, I'm not done. Um, I also have six Belgian ales. Six. Six different Belgian ales. It's this is what happens when you work fifty hours a week at a specialist job. <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna say you become a drunkard. <laughs> well, kind of that too. <laughs> it's 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 like sixty forty. <laughs> well, you can afford. Well, you become a classy drunkard. You can afford something better than Pat. Oh, so wait. When when you work enough, you can become an, a a a drunkard with classy you become, alcohol. You can, be, you can become someone who spends enough money on alcohol that the, that people <laughs> just kind of like, oh, you have good taste, instead of oh, you're an alcoholic. <laughs> well, I guess that's a decent enough it's, distinction. Kind of true, actually. <laughs> you turn into an alcoholist, not an alcoholic. The difference between <laughs> versus smoker. <laughs> Getting back I consider to my, myself a tobacconist. Getting back to my, <laughs> getting back to my question. What question? I, like, hey, I'm too poor anymore. Should I pop? Too. Should I pop the stout and try try out the milk stout tonight? If you like, give me some. Or should I? Uh, I give you um, one on the internet. There's a bit of a distance issue. I, I, I think by the time he sends it to you, he'll have already had his. Yeah. Or should I? Should I try one of the Belgian ales and do a critique on it? I mean, I'm gonna critique both of them, but like, you know me, I like milk stout. And we'll start with the stout because I want to know what brand it is. Because there was okay. a good milk stout I had before. What? All right, I will be right back. I have to get my chalice and uh, and and. The oh, you've got one of those beer drinking glasses. Hey, dude, I got like a bunch of beer drinking glasses. I have one for like any kind of, each kind of. How beer. the heck did this skeleton fall through obsidian? All right, I'll be back. Dead now, bitch. So, Ed, I can't what? find you anymore. I'm totally lost. I am pretty far away from where anyone ever was forever. Like, oh. I don't even know where I am right now. Well, if you're lost and I'm lost, that's going to be pro a problem. Well, like, we didn't make it a point to stay together, and I just started rambling. Oh, found a diamond. Oh! As usual. Just one diamond? Not, like, uh, ten? one diamond that I can see so far right now. Remember, ten diamonds, I get four. <laughs> yeah, round it up. So if we get nine, I get five. Six. Let's do a tally of what we have Wait so for me. far. Um, I have a stack of lapis lazuli plus two. A stack plus twenty of redstone. 26 gold ore, 52 iron ore, 3 stacks, and 2 coal. Okay, I have five sta uh, 4 stacks and 44 coal, 5 gunpowder, 1 ender pearl, 9 lapis lazuli. No, no, ender pearl doesn't count, because that wasn't mine. That's yours. Oh, right. So the gunpowder doesn't count either. Okay. Nope, we're only counting the stuff that was mine. I have 64 and 28 iron ore, like a stack and 24 iron ore. Um, 21 gold ore, and that looks yep. like it. There's some more, there's some more iron. And 58 redstone. <coughs> and like 9 lapis, yeah, 9 lapis. Hey, uh, do you want to pick, clean up that redstone from, uh, that's behind the cabin? Who, me? Yeah, it's yours. Maybe, maybe you want it for something. There's also a piston there, I'd assume you'd want to keep the piston. Oh, right. Right, I'd want to keep the piston. I was going to get back to that, but I didn't get it. Well, that's an option too, I suppose. So, 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 Ed, um, you, you've got the most, you've got the most deaths on the server. Yeah. So, I'm a professional. You're, you're, yes, you're a professional suicidalist. You're, you're very good at it. 
Of course. Um, or, or you're just bad at living. Yep. Anyways. He prefers to think positively. Anyways, um, so, do you, do you want to tell the viewers a little bit about wh uh, why your death count is so high? Well, I, I, I haven't taken I haven't the taken them to see I the saw sign. When I got on the server was like I don't know the twenty six deaths that Dragon had. I'm like, well, I gotta beat this person because I think Dragon died a couple times. No, I died a couple times and then Dragon couple died a couple times at that time because I and, and I'm back. <laughs> what? No, oh, stop it. Story. He's telling a story. Shut up. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, I was like, I was, um, yeah. So I logged in the first time, and then Dragon was like, "Oh crap, died." And then I was like, "Hmm, there's a death list here. I want to be on top of it." And then that's pretty much why I built the treehouse, so then I could build up high with minimal resources and then jump off it a bunch of times, which I did. Which, yeah. Speaking, time, speaking of, of speaking of that, oh. speaking, of, yeah. I, I, I can. I'll, I might um, take them to see that sign. Sometime. Yeah, you might want to. It's so, pretty hilarious. Uh, I got my beer. You better not say it has like chocolate, chocolatey notes and nutty aromas. Like, Why? Well, I'm gonna do a real beer review. Are you okay with this? I'm gonna go with that, but like. All right, so right. so we're gonna go with appearance here. It's um, mm -hmm. Maxin, the original and genuine Maxin. Okay. It's uh estimated. Or established, sorry, not estimated. Established 1742. It's a triple stout, um, milk stout. It's imported from Trinidad. It's a Trinidad. Um, imported into Miami, Florida from, from Trinidad, apparently. So this is a Trinidad milk stout. Um, as far as the visuals of the, the bottle, it's black, silver, and red. It's got a belt kind of logo. It's it's really plain. Like it's it doesn't scream I'm really cool or anything. All right. It doesn't scream um, booze or anything. It's like club cord. It's it almost looks like like similar to like some of those generic bottles of like cream soda Bloodcore. that you would buy. Really? Right. Yeah. Interesting. Like it's, it's, well, it's 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 imported, so they don't have as much money to just blow on things. Yeah. It it cream. does have. I like this though. I like seeing this on bottles. It has the alcoholic content on the nice. side. It like is it's 4. easy to 9%. see. You don't have to like dig around. To How it. high slash low is it? Four point nine percent. So low. That's pretty for, standard. Low for my standards, um, but uh, pretty, pretty much yeah, run of the mill. I mean, yeah, run of the mill for your typical beers. Like so considering the standard beer that I drink is six percent. And Sam Adams can get up to nine, especially if you get the twist off pork bottle. I'll put it this way: all of the Belgian ales that I just bought are above eleven. Yeah. So I think there's there's a beer out there that has a really high alcohol content. It was just there to have a record stack for amount of alcohol content. It's uh, thirty six percent. Yeah, something like that. But anyways, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna crack this gun open. I do collect bottle caps. I like this bottle cap. It's a uh, um, it's three men. Um, one standing at the oh, bottom. Oh, is that why you, you like it? Hold on. <laughs> one standing at the bottom of, of, of this with an arm. Hey, we don't we don't disparage men. such like preferences here. Two okay? other men standing on top of his arms, so it's like a strong man kind of pose. Ah, okay. It's pretty cool. So. So still, like the strong man is you, basically. Um. Anyways. You'd like to think uh, that. My current favorite though has been a. Uh, it's a bell. The the bottle cap itself looks like a jester's cap bell. It's, it's really cool. This seems like a good time to ask. Um, do do you try to uh, 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 pass these bottle caps off as uh, gym badges ever? No, 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 no. I, I have not yet uh, reached that okay. point. <laughs> no, no. Ooh, wow. Um, so we're gonna go on visuals here for the uh, the beer itself. Okay. It is. Dark as fuck. I've never seen a beer head actually come out chocolatey colored. This really? looks like chocolate. Interesting. Yeah. The head is not... The foamy head is brown. Mm -hmm. It is... Like, if we're talking dark chocolate, like... like, yeah. like wow. Like freaking it is, bar of chocolate. Is, I'm holding it up to the light. The... I am not getting any light through it whatsoever. It is completely opaque. I like it. 
the um, triple stout for you. It's it's got some good cling to the glass, even like it's really, like, yeah. It's the not just the heads clinging to the glass, but I actually, if I tilt the my uh, chalice here a little bit, it's clinging to the sides of the glass. So, all right. Impressive. Yeah. It's it's thick. This is thick yeah. and definitely can't see through it. Uh, aroma. I got a slight cold, so. It, yeah, that sounded like a nose that wasn't quite going to be able to do the aroma bit very well. You know, well. honestly, I mean, yes, I am slightly impaired, but I'm not getting much of any kind of aroma from it. Um, a slight... Uh, I want to say, say a slight uh, kind of a barley, you know, that standard beer smell yeah. with a... Your your old baker's chocolate sort of interesting aroma, but no no sweetness in the in the scent, and no. no nothing nothing really that stands out and hits you saying that I'm gonna taste or smell like something know, like something. Hmm. It's very subtle, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and take a take a swig. <laughs> oh my. Hmm? Have you ever had a red stripe? Uh, yes. No, I wanted one. one Alright, if you can imagine the flavors of a red stripe, mm -hmm. but replace, <clears throat> the, replace the tang of the red stripe with chocolate. Oh yeah, I've had a milk stout like that before. Mm. This I don't is remember. the sweetest milk stout and one mm. of the smoothest stouts I've ever had. Interesting. Its, its flavor profile is the opposite of the way it looks. It's really? light. It's f almost fruity. Hmm. It's got a chocolate aftertaste, but that kind of like dark um, South American style of chocolate. Like, have you ever had real hot chocolate without the the sugar added? Yeah, like, sure. like that kind of flavor. Interesting. Um, it's really this is this is good. This is I'm definitely gonna get a six pack of this. Um. Uh, is not send me send me a link of it. Uh, send me the exact um, oh yeah name of it in um in our in Facebook or something. Oh okay sure no problem. Whatever. <laughs> it's, I don't want I wouldn't game qualify game. it that much as a session beer, um, but you could definitely make it one. It's drinkable. It's not it's not heavy at all. I'm used to like a heavy milk stout, and this is. So, for the viewers and myself who don't know what the phraseology, uh, what's a session beer? Oh, um, a okay. So you have, well, some of the viewers are aware of it. Yeah, I, I'd imagine. Are aware of it. Um, a session beer refers to a beer. I'm not aware of it. That's that why I'm asking. Can have many of. Um, okay. Basically, it's 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 the beer snob's way of saying, "Fuck, I could drink a shitload of these." Mm-hmm. But without saying. Fuck, I could drink. It's basically, shit. saying drinkable in a way. Well, there's, there's drinkable in the way of saying it's good enough that I don't want to just throw it out. But well, I would I would put it more as a I want to drink a lot of these and it's not too rich. Mm -hmm. For instance, like the sweet water that I just had, the sweet water blue, is actually almost too rich of a beer, even though it's just a. Uh, um, I I really shouldn't say just because it it's. An, I, I I really like them, but Sweet it's or blue. Like how far around the U.S. does that ship around? I think it's only local here. I'm not yeah. sure if it gets out of North Carolina. It might, but I haven't seen it anywhere else. So, but you can you can always get it shipped um, via Total Wine's website. All right. To Minnesota, like you can do that. It's no big deal. So uh, since it's beer, you can do that. Dead, um, Dead, Deadly Koala, now uh, now sponsored by... <laughs> <laughs> now sponsored by Total Wine. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> God, I wish. Holy shit. Apathetic NPC drinking, you know, just slamming down Sweetwater Blue. <laughs> Want to they... know why he's apathetic? <laughs> they, uh... Because, um... <laughs> like, if you can get sponsored by someplace, then they will give you... Give you oh stuff. My, oh my god. 
I would have to. I would have to start YouTubing professionally then. I don't think I'd ever leave the house. <laughs> <laughs> I would oh, you'd be, be able to like Markiplier there. You, you, like, the you just you, you just to have drive. to you just have to like drink it and mention it like every every episode or something. I'd like to. I'd like to uh, also put a put a point down in here. Um, I we. We all in this channel are quite responsible with our alcoholic beverage, you know, consumption. Yeah, I'm, I can't. Don't, uh, actually, don't, I just don't get sick if I illegal smell. drinking and or illegal actions while while drinking. That's bad. Yeah. Don't do that. that's, that's <laughs> Speaking of, I actually got. I, I actually uh, just just um, just today after work, I, I stopped at the MGM, you know, the Valley Shopping yeah. Center. I suppose you might be familiar with that area. Yep. Um. I get a discount there because I get I'm stuck working around there. Oh, sweet! Um, it's like five percent. It's not not great, but oh, it's still but pretty good though. It's like I, I don't work at the MGM and I still get a discount. Nice. Anyways, um, so I I got my hands on this um, Minnesota brewed. Um, I'm trying to think of the name off the oh, top of my head. Uh, yeah, that's it's a I got a wine. Um, oh, okay. Uh, again, I'm trying to think of the title off the top of my head. They make mead, but um, when I and wine mostly. Are they the uh, the local mead providers for the Minnesota? No, 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 no. They aren't. Um, their their logo is a a B though. So. Oh, I, I know, I know which one you're. Talking you know about. which one I'm yes. talking about? Yeah. So I've got this. Uh, I, I I've got a uh, strawberry rhubarb wine. Ooh, That's... I've had that before. It's actually. Oh weird. man, that sounds so Minnesotan. <laughs> Like, you don't get much more Minnesotan than something that sounds like straight from Scandinavia. <laughs> strawberry rhubarb. Strawberry I'm, rhubarb. My dad's favorite pie. Strawberry rhubarb pie. Strawberry rhubarb pie and a hot dish casserole. <laughs> oh my god, yes. You guys are making me homesick. You're, you're, actually, that's as Minnesota right as it now, comes. To be honest. Well, you're when, you're, I, when I told people that I, I made hot dish... They looked at me funny down here because apparently they don't use the same vernacular. They they've got uh, um, God. Now I know that I'm actually getting tipsy. I'm starting to use big words. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, uh, this, this would be a good time to remind viewers that um, Deadly gets more uh, yeah, intelligent yeah. the more he drinks to a certain point, and then yes. he gets much much less intelligent. I get more grumpy. I don't necessarily get less intelligent. I, I get grumpy. Okay, fine. You get grumpy, and then you don't really care about what you say, so yes. you don't seem as intelligent. That's I have a great grumpy cat face. Like, every time I show it to people, they're like, wow, that's grumpy cat. <laughs> oh, that's like, some of the muscles in my face can bend my face. They look like grumpy Almost cat. exactly like grumpy cat. That's, that's freakish and cool. Like, uh, the frown is, like, the same shape. Anyways, you were saying something about um, oh, well, casseroles I, uh, and hot dishes. Yeah, I, I, I was describing, <coughs> you know, I was telling people like I like to cook and stuff, and, mm -hmm. and you know, I like to make hot dish. And they said what? And I go, you know, hot dish. You put like cream and mushroom in soup a dish. Else. No, no, no. It's like you put, you know, like food in the dish, and then you put tater tots okay, on the top of. Them. And they were they were completely baffled as to why I was calling it hot dish and why I put tater tots on the top of them. <laughs> I was like, "That's what you, that's what you do." So hopefully, maybe we can get a little what bit of comments on there um, that uh, you know what people view as a uh, a casserole or a hot dish and how they prepare them. If anybody wants to linguistics, don't worry. That answer is probably already in, like that question is probably already answered. Like. I bet. Uh, I bet. In my linguistics class, we ended up spending a day just watching how to speak Minnesotan. Oh man! Oh we man! Could... How to speak Minnesotan? We I should have do a two little copies of that book. We should do a little segment. I had two uh, copies. Uh, I gave one to a friend of mine who was who grew up in Glencoe, Minnesota, but moved to Finland. Oh man! I had and it was about the same, wasn't it? This book, and I have given two away as gifts. I'm I'm willing to bet that Finland was wasn't much different than Minnesota, was it? Not really. The only difference <laughs> is that I like the geography of Finland more, at least compared to the local area, because like southern, western Minnesota, that's not really all that interesting. It's mostly just some hills. I can't believe this stout. I really can't. Like, Damn it, I need to get some. Oh, fuck, creeper. It's, fuck. What is this, Trinidad? Yeah. Hell yeah. Jamaican beer and Trinidad beer is great. I like. I really do like Red Stripe. 
I do. Maybe maybe their philosophy is that like great beer can still be drinkable. I, I I would have to say so. I mean, like I like a good heavy beer. You know, like I like a good, like German esque. I like chewing my beer every once in a while, but I don't like chewing more than one. This mm-hmm. this this stout, like I could. Uh, I could I could easily down a case of them, and it's funny though because I've had let's see here I've had four beers already, but uh, well I've had a cider and and three beers, but to be to be honest as far you as you could go for another one of those, I could totally go for another one of these, and I think this one is is affecting me a little bit more so than the other ones that I've had. Hmm. Stouts tend to do that, though. I think you're love drunk. With, you're uh, love drunk. I guess, I, but I think this. I think the stout has to, to do with something with the with brewing process, though. Hmm. So uh, affecting my physiology differently. I've been playing. I've, I've been recording for about thirty-five minutes again. Oh. Um, I think I'm gonna call it at that. I can't find Ed. I'm just gonna take what I've mined. Oh gosh! Come just on. Take I can't Pick find you. Leave. I can't bring find it, you. Bring it to the mothership. Did you find any diamonds in the cave? No, no diamonds. Okay. Then take whatever you find. I won't feel bad. Okay, you can keep your I diamonds. I won't grow. Oh, I needed that. I won't take the lapis from the chest. So right uh, now, I'm at... Ooh, three, like, <laughs> X, X is 330, Y is 17, and Z is negative 121. That's where I'm at. Well, we should do an episode of Locked. Oh, yeah. yeah we should. What? Um, League of Quality Derps. Yeah, we should. Yeah. We ro- rock one of those out? Um, quick? Then I gotta go to bed, but. Yeah, I suppose I could do that. It's tired as shit. So. Yeah, I suppose I could do that. Alright. Are you done? Um. Yeah. Okay, I'll just, uh.